AMD are continuing to taking steps to be a real competitor with Nvidia. Today, Oracle announced that they are going to deploy 50,000 GPUs autumn 2026 from AMD and their Helios Rack Scale solution, MI450X series. So this is the most competitive ship that uh, GPU ship that AMD will have to date. And uh, the video uh, we will provide you for today is uh, this deal, what is what is all about the tech that AMD are providing and why Oracle wants, wants this deal. And also um, my thoughts about what this means for AMD and also for maybe the AI market as a whole. So bef before we continue, uh, I would just uh, say that uh, if you like this type of uh, content, uh, just drop a like and uh, a subscribe here if you want the channel to grow. And obviously we can build the community together. And I'm thankful that you're tuning in. So yeah, let's go. Let's uh, break down this uh, deal here. Um, deploy 50,000 AMD AI chips in a new uh, data center beginning next year. Seema Modi has more for us today in Tech Check, live from Oracle's AI World Conference in Las Vegas. Hey, Seema. Hey, Joe. Well, you, we know the artificial intelligence chip market has been dominated by NVIDIA, but this expanded partnership between AMD and Oracle, it really shows how AMD is increasingly being seen by the market as a proof point that its next generation AI chip is a viable alternative. We've been working with AMD for several years, um, and you were super excited to actually offer their new generation of GPUs second half of next year. I think, I think AMD's done a really fantastic job, just like NVIDIA, and I think both of them have their own place. Now, it's not just AMD and NVIDIA that are battling it out to manufacture and design these high-performance chips and inference uh, the process using AI models to run tasks and solve problems. There's Broadcom. There's Grok, Cerebris, which pulled its IPO earlier last month. NVIDIA, by the way, is by no means being left out of AI world. Oracle announcing the rollout of what they say is the largest supercomputer in the cloud that connects hundreds of thousands of black ball chips across multiple data centers. It's being seen in collaboration with OpenAI at its Stargate campus in Abilene, Texas. I did catch up with Futura Group's Daniel Newman here, who said Oracle now really needs to show investors that it's making these big bets, but now it needs to show investors that these AI investments will pay off. We will hear from founder and chairman Larry Ellison uh, in about two hours, Joe, where we're expecting him to sort of define, reset Oracle's vision. You know, he started this company in 1977. I wasn't even around. You definitely were. Uh, but the whole vision of that company has certainly changed because of AI. So here you have the actual press release by Oracle. And this is about Oracle AMD and how they expand partnership to help customers achieve next generation AI scale. Beginning in calendar Q3 2026, Oracle will be the first hyperscaler to offer a available AI supercluster powered by 50,000 AMD Instincts MI450 series GPUs. And I often want to have go to the very source here to show you that this is the real deal. It's not some kind of news that are just out there, not confirmed. So this is from Oracle's website. And they announced that this is a multi-generational generation collaboration to help customers significantly scale their AI capabilities and in initiatives, building on years of CEO Innovation, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, will be launched partner for the first publicly available AI supercluster powered by AMD Instinct MI450 series GPUs with an initial deployment of 50,000 GPUs starting in calendar Q3 2026 and expanding in 2027 and beyond. And this means that the revenue will be in the income statement of AMD 2026 earliest Q3. That's because they can't, despite having the deal done, they have to ship the GPUs to Oracle before the deal is done, um, or before the the revenue is accounted for in the um, income statement. Uh, so this announcement builds upon the joint work of Oracle and AMD to deliver AMD Instinct GPU platforms and. They are saying here, Oracle, that our customers are building some of the world's most ambitious ambitious AI application, and they they want the right type of GPUs to 
meet the expectations of their um, customers. And they have chosen AMD for this. And obviously, that's very good news for um, AMD, everyone working there for the leadership, Lisa Su, and also for AMD investors. This shows that they, they have a top-notch product. They can compete with uh, NVIDIA. And this is the type of deal that they would not have been able to perform if they didn't have this new Helios Rec scale solution. So AMD and Oracle continues to set the pace for AI innovation in the cloud, said Forrest Narod, ex- uh, Executive Vice President and General Man- Manager of Data Center Solutions Business Group, AMD. So a little bit about the specs here, why and how AMD Instinct's MI450 series GPUs are coming to OCI. So this is a breakthrough in computer memory. So this uh, having a lot of memory and compute helps the customers to achieve faster results. We see here that the, the solution provides up to 400, 432 gigabytes of HBM4 and 20 uh, terabyte per second of memory bandwidth, enabling customers to train and infer models that are 50% larger than previous generation entirely in memory. And that's all obviously very important in inference. Uh, they're using the AMD optimized Helios Rack design, and uh, these provide a performance density cost and energy efficiency via dense liquid cooled uh, 72 GPU racks. The AMD Helios Rack design integrates. Um, the UALOE scale up uh, connectivity and Ethernet based Ultra Ethernet Consortium UEC aligned scale out networking to minimize uh, latency and maximize throughput across pods and racks. So, this is the selling point of AMD that they have a product that are very energy efficient. efficient. They have a lot of um, compute that they get um, per, per um, um, what can I say? Uh, energy cons- consumed, per consumed uh, energy. So basically, we have um, we have a bottleneck of energy in the world. We do not have an infinity, in- infinite amount of um, nuclear plants, etc. Uh, not infinity, in- infinite amount of oil. So to have compute to continue to grow um, and meeting demand, uh, the the GPUs and CPUs will have to be very very efficient going into the future, a lot more efficient than they are. And this is something that AMD really has worked a lot on. And this is one of uh, their most important selling arguments uh, going head to head with NVIDIA, uh, because maybe NVIDIA is a bit faster still, but they, if AMD can um, actually have a more energy efficiency in their performance in the inference market, they can grab a lot of market share from uh, NVIDIA is based on that, despite not being uh, the best ships in terms of performance. And uh, also uh, improving the Ultra Ethernet Con uh, UEC here is very important. They are closing in uh, on, <clears throat> on the um, internet side of the business. Uh, you can see down here also that is UA Link that uh, also helps, helps customer efficiently expand workloads, reduce memory bottlenecks, and orchestrate large multi-trillion parameter models. This scalable architecture minimizes hops and latency without routing through CPU and enable direct hardware, coherent networking, and memory sharing among uh, GPUs within a rack via UA-Link protocol transported over a UA-LOE fabric. So this UA-Link is an open high-speed interconnect standard purpose built for AI accelerators and supported by a broad industry ecosystem very important that is a broad industry ecosystem. Not, it's very important for AMD that not everything is locked in the CUDA system that uh, and the NV link that uh, NVIDIA is using. So as a result, customer gain the flexibility, scalability, and reliability needed to run their most demanding AI workloads on open standard-based infrastructure. So this is where AMD are heading. They want things to be open standard, open source to use the whole world to expand and improve their products they want to um to collaborate uh, while uh, nvidia wants to have this more locked in system so this is two different type of approaches and we should know that the amd rockm software stack has improved a lot lately they have performed a lot of acquisitions that have helped them to gain knowledge in the software uh, stack part of their business and they have improved their rockm system very very rapidly 
So they are not as good as CUDA, but they are closing in and they are good enough now to being able to compete with NVIDIA. And that is great news. So this is um, an advanced, uh, they also have advanced uh, partitioning and vis uh, virtualization that enables customers to safely share clusters and allocate GPU based on workloads needs by facilitating uh, the secure and efficient use of resources via fine-grained GPUs and pod partitioning, etc. So basically, this is what you need to know about the deal at the moment. This, this deal are providing billions to AMD and are providing uh, efficient GPU solutions for Oracle long-term. And this can, if uh, successfully deployed by AMD and if the product are as good as I think uh, this might help Oracle to improve their margins, which is good for Oracle customers and Oracle investors also long-term. And we all want the AI market not just to have one player, just uh, I think for the world as a whole, we want some competition so they can improve and innovate long-term, both NVIDIA, AMD and other companies like Broadcom. So overall, great news. Um, and yeah, I hope you learned something today and that this helped you to see the long-term vision as a shareholder of AMD. And thank you for tuning in and I see you next time.